Hi, I'm Alberto Ortiz, and next I'm going to present the communication elaborated for Team 2020 about e learning quality assessment in higher education, preparing collaboration with Susana Omus Miguelaña and Jose Carlos Sanchez Prieto from University of Salamanca. Quality assessment is today a success factor and a guarantee in the implementation and development of countless initiatives, programs, and strategies in a very wide variety of fields. For this reason, in an educational field in a constant transformation, the evaluation of the quality of each process, phase, and tool must be understood as an essential and basic part in teaching, betting on the implementation of quality evaluation process in a virtual environment and trying to adapt reality to new learning environments. The objective of the research is based on the lack of studies detected on learning quality assessment in this educational level, also trying to deepen the available researches, making a general map of the current situation and being able to open new avenues of research on this field. Since now the methodology, this investigation carried out a mapping study, a technique that facilitates a comprehensive review of primary studies in a given area which aims to identify the main evidence available on the subject and the study from a global and objective perspective. The research question tried to answer the number of final publications about a learning quality assessment, the most relevant authors in the field of research, the journals that have published them, the countries in which they have been carried out, and finally the type of research. This study presents six inclusion criteria and six exclusion criteria in which articles are selected based on the conception of a learning, on the review process follow, on the date of publication, on the language of publication, on the conception of a learning, and on the methodology of each study. The search was carried out on 26 of November 2019 in Web of Science and Scopus, some of the most relevant databases in the research field, using the search stream that can be viewed on the screen and reflecting the whole process in a document that is accessible and public for its review. The process has consisted of four phases, an initial phase with 639 articles to reach a final phase after two revisions with 19 articles and an acceptance rate of 2.97%. Let's start with the results. The first question posed in the mapping refers to the evolution of the number of publications during the last five years. In it, it can be seen how the number of them increased in the last year, going from a downward trend since 2016 to a total of six publications in 2019. The second question refers to the most relevant authors in the analyzed publications. It cannot be concluded that there is one or more authors who stand out notably above the rest in terms of the number of publications, since it's only Kiran Kao, Renata Marciniak and Mewis Wahid who have two publications, while the rest of the authors only have one. Continuing with the mapping question, it's related with the source of publication of the articles. The articles included in this study have been published in 24 different scientific journals, of which only two of them have two publications. The four questions aims to find out in which countries have the greater number of publications being carried out. The result shows that Spain is the country with the most published research on the subject of study, since seven articles, 36% of the total, have been written here. South Korea and Malaysia are far behind Spain with two publications each, and the rest of the countries have only one. Finally, question five asks to know how, what type of research methodology has been carried out, distinguishing between qualitative research, quantitative research, and mixed research. There is also that the majority of these studies are quantitative and mixed, with seven studies each one, and only five are quantitative. In the analysis of the results of 10, after carrying out the mapping, we can observe an increase in the number of studies performed in recent years, which shows a growing interest in the scientific and educational community in the research of the quality assessment process in this teaching modality. Even so, and despite this trend, there are still very few authors and resources focused on evaluating quality in virtual environment, 
so a greater effort is required to position the quality factors as a relevant in virtual environments, understanding it as a key factor for the success. With the transition to remote teaching that coronavirus has meant, there have been countless research groups, universities and entities that have implemented measures in online teaching and evaluation process. Another sample that reflects exponential interest in our learning is reflected in the announcements made by multiple scientific journals about the publication of special issues and monographics on e-learning. This change in teaching modalities and the continuous advance toward areas where presence lose predominance and technology becomes fundamental means make e-learning become a protagonist in our educational system. After knowing the general panorama of the studies carried out in the last five years, this mapping presents a snapshot of the investigation carried out so far prior to the start of the coronavirus crisis. Therefore, this mapping can also guide future studies that may be carried out in this area, in the transformation of learning and in the improvement of quality process.